Good evening, everybody. How are you all doing? <laughs> Yay! Okay. Um, my name is Stacy Tatum. I am a Spanish faculty here at RCC. I'm also one of the PTK advisors. Um, and I would like to welcome you here tonight to our 2024 PTK induction ceremony. PTK, a lot of people go, what is that? Phi Theta Kappa, to be uh, more specific. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce, also tonight we have some special guests with us. Um, and so I just, if you'll just wave a hand as I call your name. We have uh, Dr. Ken Law, our president. Um, we have Ms. Sheila Regan, who is Vice President for Academic Affairs. We have Dr. Carolyn Salinger, who is uh, Vice President of Student Development. We also have our Director of Respiratory Therapy Program with us, Ms. Angie Pruitt and uh, several academic deans and uh, department chairs and faculty. So if you are staff that are present, if you would w raise your hand. Uh, we want to thank you all for joining us this evening. Yeah. That was good. I, I'd also like to introduce to you our 2023-24 uh, PTK officers. Um, our president, Mary Anna Amos, um, our Vice President of Fellowship, Akasha Madkins. Our Vice President of Public Relations, Michael Durkin. And our Vice President of Service, who is unable to be with us tonight, is Colby Hollis. And our Secretary, Dakota Ham. I also want to introduce an uh, uh, integral part of PTK, my right hand uh, go-to person, who is also my co-advisor, Dr. Elena Baker. And I don't know if you noticed, but she also played for you a wonderful violin piece, and I'm not well-versed in musical things, so I'm just going to stop. Okay. Um, at this time, I'd like to ask our president, uh, Mariana Amos, to come and share a little bit about Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society so you have a little bit of knowledge. Hello, everyone. As Ms. Tatum said, my name is Mariana Amos, and I'm the current president of Rockingham Community College's Phi Theta Kappa program, otherwise known as Alpha Kappa Pi. It is my great honor to be here tonight and to congratulate the new inductees. In 1929, the American Association of Community Colleges approved for Phi Theta Kappa to be the official honor society for two-year universities. Since then, it has been established on 1,300 community college campuses. Through PTK's four values, scholarship, leadership, fellowship, and service, members are able to make a difference in not only their own lives, but others' lives around them. These values are reflected in our purpose and mission statements. When you are inducted into PTK, you join 250,000 other scholars around the nation. Again, I congratulate each and every one of you on this monumental achievement. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Kinlaw to share a few words. Good evening. Uh, I am Mark Kenlaw. I'm president here at Rockingham Community College. And on behalf of our Board of Trustees, our faculty, staff, and students, welcome to our Alpha Kappa Pi Chapter of Phi Theta Kappa Induction Ceremony tonight. I want to thank all of you for coming to support our students as we recognize their academic achievements. Family members and friends of our students, thank you for, for supporting uh, your loved ones and your friends. Without your support, they would not be where they are tonight. To our faculty, thank you for the work you have done to inspire academic excellence with these students. And to our staff, thank you for providing the support services that they need to be successful. To our students, congratulations for excelling academically. Phi Theta Kappa recognition is a high honor and it's one that you should be, a pr that you should be very proud to achieve. You represent the very best that we have at our college academically. I encourage you to continue to excel in the classroom, but I also encourage you to get involved in our college outside of class. 
and in your community as we all need to give back. Maybe you could be an officer at, at a club at our college or take part in activities where there is opportuni opportunity to help others. Maybe you can be a tutor so that you can help fellow students to be more successful in their classes. There are lots of ways to get involved, but I encourage you to do that as leaders at our college. Excelling academically will be very important to you. It will open doors for transfer or employment or both. Learning is continuous and lifelong. You will find that out as you move forward in life. You're off to a great start understanding that. Best of luck to all of you, and we look forward to celebrating a lot more with you as you continue here at our college. So thank you very much, and we look forward to the rest of this evening celebrating with you. Thank you, Dr. Kinlaw. The reason we are here tonight is to celebrate these students who have fulfilled all requirements for membership and have been selected because they have chosen scholarship, leadership, service, and fellowship as their hallmarks. These hallmarks are signified by the Phi Theta Kappa emblem, a white rose, and a torch. At this time, my fellow officers will share the significance of each. This is the emblem of Phi Theta Kappa. It consists of a golden slab keyed at the top and bottom. The golden field refers to the golden opportunities that are bound to perform good works. Since gold is the most noble of metals, it has even further significance to our society. It represents the nobility attained by those who achieve intellectual leadership. This badge stands as a symbol for PTK's high idealism and membership in this esteemed organization. I have the white rose, typifying purity and beauty of life, with its white buzz signifying intellectual associations. When you come forward to sign the book, please take a rose as a symbol of our chapter's intellectual endeavors and friendships. I have in my hand a torch, a symbol of knowledge which is, which is a servant of wisdom. When you light your candle, let his flame remind you to withhold judgment of others and to suppress ignorance. Now that the significance of each symbol has been introduced, it is now time to present to you our candidates for membership into the Alpha Kappa Pi chapter of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. As I call your name, please come forward to sign the chapter record book, receive a white rose, and light your candle, and remain standing in front until the oath is administered. Anaya Bennett. Colton Bertodi. <laughs> Davis Bowers. Savannah Renee Brown. <laughs> Lauren. 
Liberty Charles. Destiny Corum. <laughs> Destiny Courts. Courtney Curry. <clears throat> Macy Durham. Jessica Easter. <clears throat> Michaela Hairston. Cambry Harris. Ashley Harris Hoyle. <laughs> Ekra Hussein. Jack Kelly. Deja Kernodal. Sierra Marlowe.
Cooper Martin. Allie Martin. <laughs> Hannah Moore. Tristan Pickard. Dylan Rakestro. <coughs> Evan Roundtree. Maya Siddle. Mikaelin Tatum. Elena Underwood. Lanham Webb. <laughs> Emily Wheeler.
Nate Wiles. Johnny Williams. Anna Lynn Wilson. Anna Lee Woods. Now that the standards and ideals of this organization have been fully revealed to you, you have come to complete the pledge which admits you into complete fellowship. Inductees, repeat after me. I do solemnly promise, I do solemnly promise on the third day of April 2024, to uphold the standards of Phi Theta Kappa and to keep this object and aim in mind and I do solemnly pledge allegiance to my fellow members and promise to aid them in all worthy endeavors. Inductees, you may now extinguish your candles and return to your seats. It is my great pleasure to welcome you into the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and the lively fellowship of scholars it affords. I salute you for this accomplishment. I urge you to explore always for truth 
and to dedicate yourselves to the cultivation of the well-reasoned life, a prelude to service and honor. Congrat congratulations to you all. And now let us hear a special charge from Ms. Angie Pruitt. Good evening and congratulations to this year's inductees. It's an honor to be here with you tonight and to have been asked to speak with you on this special occasion. I've been asked to give a charge to help inspire you to continue your path to the future you see for yourself. As you've heard, the four pillars of PTK are scholarship, service, fellowship, and leadership. Tonight I want to focus on leadership. I want to share with you a quote from Wendell Wilkie, an attorney from the early 1900s. And the quote is, education is the mother of leadership. This is because we learn about others by watching them fail or succeed, and we learn about ourselves, our strengths and weaknesses during our education. You are leaders whether you realize it or not. The fact that you've earned induction into PTK tonight is proof of that. You've undoubtedly faced hardships in your time here at RCC. I'm so sorry. <laughs> in your time here at RCC, but here you sit being inducted into PTK tonight. This is an elite group. A true leader does not stop when things get rough. They keep pushing to their future that they want. Leaders make tough decisions and hold themselves accountable to the results of those decisions. I guarantee there's at least one person in your life right now that you're inspiring by your journey in higher education. They may not talk to you about it, but just by doing what you're doing, you're giving them hope of what life can be. Never forget that this will be the case throughout your life long after you leave RCC. You can offer others a glimpse of where hard work and consistency can lead. Keep moving forward and keep working on your education and it will all be worth it. Thank you. Good evening. As we come to the close of this induction ceremony, I too want to extend my congratulations to the inductees and commend you for choosing excellence. It's very easy to do the minimum, but you are in an elite group, as Ms. Pruitt indicated. As our president indicated, you're the best of the best, so I commend you for choosing excellence. I also want to thank the family and friends in the audience tonight because support is, is important. And just to remind you that it's not over. They have to complete the credential and complete the degree. So keep doing what you're doing to support them in meeting their academic goals. I also want to thank and commend our faculty for creating a, an environment or a space that the passion for their discipline and their commitment to help students meet their goals it's obvious to you. you. You want to engage with that faculty member. You want to go to class. You want to do the work. And I think that's important. Our faculty are pressing you to choose excellence. So as you settle in tonight and you reflect on this ceremony, think about how you're going to take the four pillars and apply them to this journey that you're on. Let those principles guide you in your journey. So again, congratulations. Thank you for choosing Rockingham Community College. And on behalf of all the faculty and staff, I wish you continued success. Well, this concludes our 2024 PTK induction ceremony. Congratulations to all of our students uh, once again. And thank you all for coming out to support them. We hope you have a safe and festive rest of your evening celebrating and, and just enjoying each other. Thank you again. <laughs>